Why hello lovely humans, Jen Foxbot here. Here's a quick demo of my Microbit Magic Wand Beginner Project, yay! So there are two parts to this project. The first is the gesture-based wand controller, which is just a microbit. It uses the accelerometer, which is a sensor that measures changes in acceleration. Um, and then the second part is the magical receiver, which I've housed in this super rad hollow book stack. I cut a hole in the top so I can put a feather on top and when I trigger it, it moves a little feather. So I will do a quick demo. Bloop. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey. So it's not like Hermione Granger status, but um, it still works. And what I like about this setup is that it's a basic framework that you can use to cast all different types of spells. Um, and so the whole thing is also battery powered. So look, no cables, you can bring it wherever you want. Yay. And um, yeah, so basically what I'm doing is I'm sending a radio or Bluetooth signal from this micro bit when I press a button or when I do a gesture, when I do the right gesture, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the micro bit in the box gets the signal. It uh, shows a little icon. Oh, it's hitting the box. Okay, let's not have that happen. Um, but it shows an icon, which is really handy so that you know that it got the signal. And then it triggers the motor through what is called a MOSFET transistor. The motor uses a lot of electricity, so we need a special type of transistor that can handle that current. Found that one out the hard way because I blew up a couple of parts. Anyway, uh, this is a, a really fun beginner project. Low barrier to entry, even if you uh, make a mistake. Um, it's okay, the micro bit's not super expensive, and then if you follow the tutorial, it'll work as expected. Um, so check out the video description for a link to the tutorial. Use this as a framework to bring your own magical spells and ideas to life. Let me know if you have any questions, and happy making! Yay! Bye!